Hey guys, SoloFanDancer98, back at it again with another re-recording of Hell of a Boss. Like I said in my previous video, unfortunately I didn't have sound, so I'm having to redo these for you guys, but hopefully you guys are appreciating my efforts, because this was a hilarious episode, but I was hoping I could get it done quickly so I could catch up to Season 2, because I'm only in Episode 2 of Season 2. Like, this is how far I've seen. So, let's get in there and catch up. I've been told that Season 3... But season 2's episode 3 is where it gets really deep, especially with some sort of reference to episode 1, apparently. That I just saw yesterday, so should be fun. Let's get into it. Sad horny demons, jeez. Mommy, Daddy! Mm, Olivia's calling us, Stella. Uh, he gets up. <sighs> Reloading away. I love that. Yeah. Yep. The picture she drew of her and her dad, but I noticed the mom's not in them. I'm guessing if dad might be her favorite. Astronomy, now, yeah. astronomy, yep. Daddy. Daddy. Stars, skies, everything. Oh, really? Yep, Daddy. she's trained to be like Stella's. And there she is with the picture. Cute. A nightmare. I was looking all over the palace, and I couldn't find you anywhere. She is adorable. You weren't there. There, there, Bea. It's okay. You're okay. When you're scared. And you don't know where I am, you must remember, no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little <laughs> starfire. It always seems more quiet in the dark. It always feels so stark. How <laughs> silence. I did not know he could sing until this episode. I like it. But it's not anymore because of who you married. Stories have been told except for one. <laughs> Start with your daughter. As the stars start to align, I hope you take it as a sign that you'll be okay. <laughs> It's working. And if the seven rings collapse, although the day could be my last, uh, you will be so about your uh, moon you're on. <laughs> when I'm gone, you'll be and she's so safe with dad that she's not even caring that the planet is literally blowing up all of them. Well, upon the last day, and you will be okay. <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah, boy. I don't think it's been a few years. And also, a little note for parents don't belt out the lullaby because you can just wake back up your da daughter. You just put to sleep with it. <laughs> She is not amused. And of course, he's not gonna go with that imp because it's not Blitzo. Because, like I said, I've seen up to season two, episode two. So, based on season two, episode one, he only went with Blitzo because he had a crush on him when they were both like eight or nine or something like that. Oh, was it? Shoot, was it eight or something? I don't know. It was, it was when they were below age ten. Like he started having like a little, little boy crush, and suddenly, bam! It's kept on all the way to his current. H. Jeez. Good morning, Octavia. Did you sleep well, my Olet? That's not a serious question. 
What's that you're listening to? This song is called My World is Burning Down Around Me. Got just frozen rats. It's fuck you, Dad. Uh. It's a band. Oh, how charming. So are you two done screaming for the day? Um. You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? I haven't. I like how he just fed zebra meat of all things to that plant and how it actually ate it quickly. Taking you to your favorite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'm not five anymore. You always were Four so ten. funny when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day. Just the two of us. <laughs> I'd rather kill myself. There we go. Anything but staying in this house. Now, I'll arrange our security. Security <laughs> for a theme park? We're rich and we're hot. People want our money and our bodies. Our money, maybe. Speak for yourself, princess. Now, I'm calling the only man who can f me. What? <laughs> who can protect me? Us. Being part. Dude, not in front of the daughter. That is a golden rule. Part of the Goisha family is rather valuable, you know. Oh, Blue, you're such a good boss. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too, but three way. <laughs> what? Jeez. Why, hello, my big dicked pussy. <laughs> what the fuck? Dad! Language, everyone. <sighs> I have a special request. Ah, oh, look, I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. It's for my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, 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 no. I'm taking my daughter. <laughs> he misunderstood the request. He's like, it's for my daughter. Ah, make sure she washes it. Ah, no, 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 not what I meant. The Lulu Land, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. We're assassins, <laughs> not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done! Man, that goes on the phone. <laughs> The pilot, he lost, what is it, one or two? Yeah, he lost one in the pilot, lost one in the second one in the human world, and this one, he just destroyed another one. Jeez, he goes through phones like he can go through paper. In here, we're going to Lululand! Lululand? Lululand! And there's his horse thing again with the whole wild and free situation. Lululand! Shut the fuck up! Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention this in the last, but in the, um... Yeah, there. The incredible Blitzo, when he was an adult, it looks like, because of the shape of his horns and everything. It looks like this is probably from when he was older in his own circus, maybe, because it has the same design as that other ticket that looked different from the red line ticket. We're going to Lululand! Lululand? No, I saw, I just noticed the little details, because I am in season two, but just not very far in. He looks so ready to enjoy the day. She's just, I'm already done with this. Now remember, this is work and work only. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, all right? <laughs> hey, Dad, do we have to? Okay, uh, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try fucking my little ass in that park, I swear to you. Good so gravy, he's so tall compared to Blitzo. I'm literally gonna be sick. Oh, crumbs, I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antacids, ibuprofen, morphine? That was figurative, old man. Oh, right. <laughs> She said it was little. Not the baby. Wow, I haven't been to this place since I was a child. And they're dead. It changed a bit. Oh, look, it's big, lovely. <laughs> that is deeply upsetting. Agreed. Oh, come on, it's fun. You've never been here? No. Theme parks always disturb me, especially the mascots. Well, hey there. <laughs> I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu Land. If y'all get hurt here, just try and sue. Oh my gosh, there's literally a Where's Waldo imp off to the side there. She's, and those two kids are probably dead. Just got eaten by the machine, by the creature. Look, Mia, it's Lulu. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. I need to fix that, pal. <laughs> is it true this park is just a really shameless spin off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu World? No. Not Lulu World. Stop sending complaints. No, stop asking. I'd never do that to my BFF Lufu. Jeez. I don't. I think Mammon's a 
bit um a bit jealous of Lucifer and even calling BFF to cover his tracks. Good gravy. This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? Well, if you want to call him out for it. Huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to fiddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. <laughs> Just admits it. You really like this place, huh? I love this place. My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it, money-wise. Yeah, the prices do seem rather criminal. I mean, that much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Cause it's Lululand! Listen to your hoe, Mox. She's already bought some... You have it, I take the first watch while you two have a little fun. Oh, we gotta do my favorite ride! Oh yeah? Which, which one? The lawsuit. <laughs> Talk about challenging them at every turn. Just try and sue us. The lawsuit ride. We're not Lulu World. We'll send your complaints to them instead. Shh. Oh my gosh. This thing, I swear. This, this park is just off the rails crazy. But then again, it is Hello Boss. So it makes sense, I guess. Oh my. He puked over the family potion. Funnel takes an infinite suffering. Ice cream bugs, ew. Hot and cold drunks. Shh. Stop that soul hacks away. Shh. Well, I guess it was a good call for him to do it. Teeth off, shoot it. Jeez, some of these are just plain <coughs> to the point, aren't they? Yeah, it's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch. I'm working. <clears throat> you both need to get room. Hey, I True. am not a day hooker. What? I just said I'm not one, Prude. <gasps> oh, look, Theo! I like how he had to actually admit that he wasn't. Joy at this show. Oh, no. Those don't look like joy. Five minutes at Freddy's much at this point? Yeesh. Oh, my God. Yeah, um... Stoas, you and I'm guessing Via here have very different definitions of what what is um joyful tears as it is. Yeesh. This still that face is gonna be rent free in some of my nightmares for a little bit, just say. Clown. Clown. And there's Blitzel. Oh, I need my bodyguard, please. <laughs> like how that one's trying to kill him, that one's trying to kidnap him, that one's robbing him, the other guys are either helping one of those others or whatnot. Oh yeah, hip Aussies, like episode seven Aussies. Lands fell with O's to avoid lawsuits. <laughs> you ain't slick. Because you're burning them all. I like how he said never, I've never seen, but then he burns them and even literally rips off Charlie's song right there. Jesus. Oh boy. Also, that voice sounds so similar to the um, old, uh, to the old movie. Um, what's that called? Uh, Beetlejuice. Yeah, he sounds a lot like uh, Michael Keegan's character from that, which is Beetlejuice himself. Also, the fact that bringing it back is a number two. I'm looking forward to see what they do there. Oh, hello. Step right up and win a thing. <gasps> oh, look, Moxie. A thing. Oh, mm. you like that thing? Yes. I don't really know what that thing is, but I want that thing. Thing, question mark. Finally, some thing I can handle. Okay. <laughs> One game, please. Ow! 
Strike one, little man. But I hit it. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. Scam. So yeah, no go, bro. I love when you meet these rigged games. Literally, they're just so proud of the rig because they follow the rules they set of the game. And he's been dragged in. Jeez, it feels like uh, it's pickle me when the girls were trying to play that game for the unicorn plush. And Glue's just like, what is that? I saw her hit it. It's all with my own eyes. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. You see how the target's not knocked down, but you know what that means, Professor. It means you don't get the unicorn. Oh, Jesus. That guy was so rude. <laughs> She's just done with this. That guy's dead. <laughs> She's so dumb. But that guy's definitely dead. My, what good aim you have, Blitzy. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Octavia. <laughs> Is that Litzo, my sensor spot of air? I guess the kitties are still running away from you, huh? <laughs> oh, it's silent now. Uh, just like your audience always was when you told, told your lazy jokes here. <laughs> Bitch, I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo ripoff of an overrated sellout jester. Okay, so you know Fizzerali personally. Jeez, I'm sensing some very big tension here. Someone salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? No, but I'm really good with guns now. Wow, he just missed it. No one likes him. <laughs> Inconvenient torches. I am not afraid. Wow, man, you're really starting to make this sad. You know, if you suck, you suck. <laughs> Guess you won't win your honey here, a prize. Let me try. Oh, yeah, of course. Look at that lucky shot, baby. Are you kidding me? You, you, you charlatan. Hey, I get lost, Pipsqueak. I'm talking to the lady. Jeez. Oh, hey guys. You should probably go uh, make sure Skullis is okay. I've Agreed. Got some unfinished business to take care of. Yeah, you might need to work on that. Oh, but I'm out. Jeez. What a mouth. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, stop oh, that poor kid. He's got a tear coming out of the head of that thing now. Even his baby sibling is now pointing out of his mom. Like, geez, everyone just hates that poor kid. Octavia? Leave me alone. Octavia. Jeez, everyone's after Stolas right now, ain't they? Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. Oh, there you go. Bodyguarded. Where is Blitzy? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a... Bit of being a fool. What kind of fool? Everything is now on fire kind. Yep, she's so happy. But he's just like, oh, okay, I'm out of Got a daughter to find. Aww. Octavia. It's even the apple said. Sorry, sweetie. I, I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid, my parents didn't hate each other. Mm. My dad didn't flirt with a weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry. That's a fair change. Yeah, I'm sorry for everything happening right now. I know it's a lot. I, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. Ouch. You need to understand. Your mother and I, I just, I felt she's always been, I haven't been that, we weren't in, 
I'm sorry, I, I, I don't have the words. Are you gonna run off with him? And leave me behind? Go away where I can't find you? What? No. No, no, never. I never do that. Never. You know, this is so sad. Because... Because technically... What it is is that Stolas was an arranged marriage. His marriage to, I think, Stella was her name, I believe. Yeah, to his, his wife Stella was an arranged marriage from what we know in Season 2. And as such, Octavia was just a result of them needing an heir for the family. So, technically, her parents never loved each other, and so they were just pretending to be a happy family. And so he's having trouble explaining that to her, because... He doesn't want to shatter her view of the family, but at the same time, he kind of has to admit that the family's broken in the first place. And she's known it was okay all her life, so it's literally shaking her world foundation here. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. <laughs> Don't interrupt. Bullseye. She's just all happy now. Where'd they get the dragon? So, what would you like to do now? Oh, can we go to Stylish Occult? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're okay sometimes. Thank you. Sometimes, wow. Way to ruin another good thing, sir. Worth it. Did Melanie just end up in something similar to the Family Guy dead unconscious pose? Well, that slutty toy clown hat. And that thing's looking her way. <laughs> Jeez, I swear. Alex Brightman, yep, he was. I looked him up actually before when I saw this first. I remember he was Beetlejuice in the Broadway musical version of the movie. Amazing work, actually. He sounded a lot like him, as you could hear by his voice here. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I certainly did. I'm looking forward to seeing what else comes out of this as we keep on going through. Looking forward to seeing how we can pull things off. In the meantime, you guys take care. Hopefully you're enjoying these new recordings with the sound this time. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys enjoy my reaction to episode 3 as we get to it, along with 3 doing the Meta Runner series. So, I got my work cut out for me. You guys take care. I'll see you around. Bye!